right? Asking around commencing. Up with the arc. Even with all the power, Master Kogol's managed to squeeze out of the ether, but it's still not enough, apparently. Now I fear the final days have arrived. Horrible creatures running rampant all over. <sighs> Only we begun the exodus sooner. People are dying and there'll be no end to it if we don't fulfill our duties. But we will. We've spent years preparing for this moment. Believe in the plan, and all will be well. Um, hello. Are you one of the new helpers? Working on the ether banner. Oh dear. I hear things have come to a standstill on that front. Even so, I'd choose that over my current duties. Checking and loading samples day in, day out. It's tiring, thankless work. Still, no one will be cross if I misplace a few legumes and what have you. The forum's got enough on their plate as it is. What with deciding who gets to board the Ark and when, a lot of powerful people have opinions about that. My heart goes out to the Master Fortuno and the others. Hardly get a moment's rest, I expect. Do they even have time to sleep? Oh, wow. There, there's awesome. a lot of characters. Oh, over here. Offering, Off to, uh, 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 offering to help? It's very kind, but I should be able to organize the rest of the documents by myself. It's mostly listing things we need once we arrive on the moon, and whichever star we choose as our new home. My duties largely concern the maintenance of living conditions, so I'll be a lot busier after we depart it. I hear that our lunar collaborators have come down to assist in the effort. I'm looking forward to finally meeting them in person, after having to communicate them with them with such limited capacity thus far. To be perfectly honest, I'm not even the slightest idea what they look like. I do hope they're not enormous, looming giants. Why, I would much prefer something small and fluffy, like a <laughs> rabbit that ran by. Well, aren't you in line? I think... I think you'll be happy. I'm into the... Oh, here we go. Orianje and all his friends, all his way friends. Appear <laughs> the op operates have infiltrated Charlene's most heavily guarded facility. What you say, growing way? Crikey! I wasn't expecting to see you here. <laughs> Jesus. Singing way plays music. If you click them. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it plays it over the music yeah. being played. Yeah, well, you know, they're, they're just singing it. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? Yet yeah, you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. Oh, my God. Living Way says. I'm not there yet. Hold on. I'm reading, reading about Archon Loth, Kyle. Our friends in the forum brought us to see the tiny teeny boat, which was most uh, quite impressive, considering they didn't use any creation magics. What were we with it? This is kind of grating. I'm <laughs> really interested in the theaters itself. Though we find ourselves in a sort of funny underground miniaturized version of it. All bunnies celebrate. Living Way is the leader. There will be more lines. Find a voice that you can stick with. We were hoping the forum would give us a guided tour, but it appears that they're rather preoccupied. Honestly, all the time to prepare. They're still not ready. I suppose we'll have to show ourselves around, or at least we'll, uh, that's what we're planning to do until we have a chance upon Orion Jay and your good self. Since you both dawdling about engaging in our chit-chatter, perhaps you could show us a few points in interest. Won't that be fun? Oh, because the no job is too small, because they're small. Oh, my word. A tour of labyrinthos? Hmm. An unexpected yet prudent suggestion. Given the similarities betwixt this artificial environment and Best Ways Burrow, it would be in our best interest to have the Laparits acquaint themselves with those conditions deemed optimal by their Charlene collaborators. I fear, however, that continued reliance upon my limited knowledge would risk narrowing rather than broadening their perspectives. Mayhap thou art better suited to lead this venture? What a marvelous idea! <laughs> Might we bring it to the great big what's it over the yonder? Ah, yes, the what's it. I shall leave its explanation to Tuna. 
<laughs> oh no. Uh, also, for singing away, Kyle, if you aren't going to at least try and do a Mrs. Doubtfire, you then what are, what are we even we doing here? If you have expectations. What are we even doing here, Kyle? If you have Kyle? expectations for singing away, don't let what me stand are we? I'm way. telling you my expectations, and I expect yeah. you to do it. Well, no, I, I <laughs> Sounds like you have opinions that should be. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I just wanted. I just wanted to hear your tailored to. I just wanted to hear your Mrs. Daffler. That's all I wanted to hear. Oh my God! The even deeper pudding, pudding research. But wait, they were named Pudding Way before learning about pudding. I don't remember if that was actually their name on the moon or not. Yeah, I believe they it become was. Pudding. They, they were pudding them? way, but if they didn't know about pudding until I mean, they, they came books, to a theorist, they got the books from the planet though. They had that that one book that they were kind of basing everything out of their their DM's guide. Maybe it talked about pudding in there, you know. Okay. And carrot pudding's a thing, I think. Everyone's disappointed when you show up with carrot. Goodness me! <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Hello! To bring something so large with creation magics is positively stupendous. Perhaps you should direct your attention to the most important features. Uh, apparently, am I facing the right direction? No, we need to destinate. Wait, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. We're going to jabber walk oh, no, again. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, my God. Uh... Shuttle operates the important features of the... I don't know. I Yeah, actually. Well, no, wait, maybe get into what uh, Alphina said. Oh, uh, you did the, the, the tanks. Yeah, the, yeah the we tanks. do know about the tanks. Yeah, we learned about clouds. Mm. <laughs> it seems that it's, just, it's getting a little Yoda-ish. But that golden pipe connects to the top of those tanks. And I can see through the window to another pipe at the bottom. It sounds like <laughs> Kyle going through puberty ah, now. This, is, this must be for purifying water drawn from blue. Okay, well, they pointed at the window, so let's try the window. Uh, oh, wait, there we go. I don't know, the wheels the, the probably... Me, the nope. metal tube. Nope, okay, the tube. The rhombus. Is that where water I hear is from inside the great big tube? Oh, wait, I clicked on something different. Oh, it must be because those cogs of the giant wheel are at top. Oh, I see. That's how they draw up the water. That's probably some sort of spiral-shaped mechanism inside, too. What did you click? The big water tower thing to the right. Oh, oh, sure, mushroom-like thing. Yeah. That looks like the trees in the greatest ends belt. Hold on, it's a bit of a strange shape. It's thin at the bottom, but big around the top. Why tall for something so unbalanced, too? Now it makes sense. That's where they store the water. We did it. We did it, everybody. <laughs> well, if I had some guess, water drawn from underground pursuit. Oh my god. That, that was not enough time to read that. Oh, Jesus. Well, if I were to hazard a guess, water drawn from underground, presumably with some other mechanism, is purified here and stored in that tower before being distributed elsewhere. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. Our design really is an insimplicity. I dare say it would take only a moment to install in even the harshest of environments. For Slapritz, that is. You look physically in pain when I watch you do these voices from the side. It's mostly just concentration trying to read. Ah. I, I can living way if okay, you want to break from Lapirates. Go for it. Indeed, securing a reliable source of water is of the utmost importance for any fledgling settlement. Who is singing what you were oh, singing? Oh, I, I, well, I just previewed as well, excuse me. We have to read, however, that the people of Ethereum sometimes make their homes in arid deserts and such. How are they able to survive? I'm just going to go for that first one. Yeah, that, that makes enough sense. So, wherever you choose to live, you're never far from water. 
Oh dear, I worry we won't be able to procure the necessary amount. We can provide enough water to keep them from drying out completely, but it would appear that they rely on it far more than we'd anticipated. Hmm. A few adjustments may be in order. Only once we've calculated the average number of consumables per individual. <laughs> Consumption. <laughs> right. <laughs> Still, oh, still you. Excuse me. Uh, it may also be worth learning more about how exactly they obtained their water in the first place. Master Elfano spoke of the machinery responsible for that feat during our journey through Logistican Alpha, did he not? Mayhap the Laparitz will share his appreciation for the engineering marvel. Oh, yes. That sounds absolutely splendid. We must journey beyond the sanctuary of Charlie and Hamlet. I shall lead the way. Y you mean we'll have to brave the untamed wilderness? A valid concern. We could not help but notice the many dangerous-looking creatures with big, nasty teeth lurking beyond the safe confines of the settlement. Were we not escorted here by burly custodians, <laughs> I dread to think that... What would have become of us? Regrettably, to many a hungry predator, with the aforementioned big, nasty teeth, Laparitz may appear to be another potential and rather appetizing source of sustenance. Might I impose upon thee to assist in securing safe passage to Logisticon Alpha? For my part, I shall act as escort to Living Way and Cooking Way. I entrust a singing way and growing way to thy care. Escort quest. Now they'll be following us. A more valiant protector they could not wish for. Godspeed. There's two S's, so it's plural Godspeed. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If it's all the same to you, I would then not be eaten by some horrible beastie. Come along, growing way, to the water extraction. What's it? Yep, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen after your office. Yep. Yep. Gotta... Yep. And, you know, I've already been sidelined by the bunnies once before, so you think I would have saw this coming. Well, not in Labyrinthios, but I guess it makes enough sense. <laughs> oh, that, that's it. That's all we got to do. We did it. Thank you so much. I really hope this water extraction what's it is worth these harrowing experiences. All part of the fun, some might say, but I'd rather not be burnt to a crisp if it's all the same to you. I'm glad I wore my most badass of armor well, yes, for the Loperit. To protect the Loperit. Story. Ah, there we go. Mission complete. Huzzah. My friends, I bid you welcome to Logisticon Alpha. Our destination doth lie at the lift's top. Pray follow me. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. So this is where the magic, or science rather, takes place. The perfect environment to sustain life artificially created. The knowledge we gain here will be essential when we look, when we start looking for new stars for your kind to inhabit. Apparently, most of them don't even have air for you to breathe. You are very lucky that the theorists just so happen to provide you with everything you need to thrive. Or did mankind turn out the way that they are because of the available resources, I wonder? Either way, it's something sort of miraculous, and I cannot wait to see more of it. Hey, sweet pants. I can't help but notice I still haven't seen Merwet. <laughs> what was everyone freaking out for? I don't know. A bunch of comments got deleted. So just like, oh my god, I quarter, can't believe you're not doing the bunny quest. Like, oh my god, I forgot about the bunny quest. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Oh no, I completely forgot about this part. We're all suffering oh. from agricultural stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the Laparits, but this is a bit of a repeat from. Oh, the movie. Well, you know they're they're setting up clearly that we are going to have to use biomes and oh it's way. extremely clear yeah yeah it was clear yeah. on the moon yeah it was clear then why is this music going so hard for bunnies I'm with you Wokmatsu well the I, same uh, thing happened back in Garlia right like it just kind of set 
the music. It, 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 it kicked in, go and in. it was just go. Yeah. This has been happening since Alphano was cool in front of Fortuna. So this is, you know. And we're just talking about, like, carrots and pudding. Yes. Don't you worry. That water tower is going to pop off. Okay. This is all very wonderful, I'm sure, but I was rather hoping to learn more about your nourishment provision facilities. Or in other words, where is the food? I believe both the knowledge and consumables you seek may be found at Muriel Argonomics. As I imagine, Singway and the others intend to study every conceivable facet of this apparatus. Wouldst thou be so kind as to escort our visiting culinary? Oh boy, it just hit me. It would be hilarious if I had a good um, uh, Gordon Ramsay Oh yeah, that but would be alas, good. Alas, I yeah. do not. Yes, that sounds much more interesting. Hopefully I'll be able to see firsthand some of the delicacies Orianje was telling me about. It's such a shame we brought them to freaking Labyrinthos of all places. Even his incredibly vivid, if a bit too verbose descriptions cannot compare to sampling them myself. Not to mention a theorist will soon be no more. So I must learn all I can while there is still time. Let us brook no further delay. Carl and chat. This carrot's fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'd like to ask the music to just chill for a minute. <laughs> this is the place, yes? The heady aroma was enough to guide me here, and I've spotted several of the fruit and vegetables featured in our compendium. I'd dearly love to try some, but I read that those who help themselves to a farmer's crop without permission are often caught and put into pies. Perhaps you could ask whoever's in charge if they would be willing to part with a few samples. Ah. <laughs> Cooking Way is now accompanying you. That's you may talk to Cooking Way if you wish. Yeah, Jeb Key, how you doing, Jeb Key? What a fine mess this is. That's quite the sack of flowers. Uh, it's you. The one who climbed down the mine shaft. I'd show you around if I could, but I'm rushed off my feet preparing for the exodus. And I'm not the only one. We've all got to find ways to do what we do down here. Uh, down here, up there, first on the moon. <laughs> then on whichever star the form decides will become our new home. It's all so sudden, so unreal. Don't you want to go to the moon? Well, it's better than waiting for the final days to claim us. But no matter how carefully it's all planned, We'll never be able to take every variety of flora and fauna with us. Even the ones we can take may not survive in their new environment. So many species doomed to extinction. Sorry, that's not what you came to talk about, is it? Nothing quite so dire, I assure you. We merely wish to sample a little of your produce, if we may. By all means, help yourselves. Much appreciated, my good fellow. So, where to begin? Go oh, right there. With the optional dialogue by the things. Yes! Look at the or scrapes! Is the, or is this not optional? Well, they're no. not really scrapes anymore. Well, uh, they're, they're still yeah, pretty. They're, they're still a little. They're still pretty polygonal. Yeah, they're not quite. Yeah. All right, cooking away, what you gotta say? Oh, I know. These are grapes. Yes? Let's see if they are as delicious as they look. So sweet, so sour. The taste is much like a ripe philosopher's carrot, and yet the texture is entirely different. The contrast between the outer skin and the fruit within is most peculiar, though far from unpleasant. Psst, I think I'll try another. I want me to try grapes. <laughs> I think I'll try another. Long ass in time ago with a rabbit called Cooking Way. That's what's going on here. That's what's going on. Throwing down. Well, that's certainly given me food for thought, though in a far less visceral manner than any philosopher's carrot. But tell me, what is your opinion of grapes? <laughs> <sighs> They're really Man. laying it on. Uh, Ghastly. Yeah, I'm going with that third one because I hate grapes. Yeah. I'm grapes. I know you do. You I'm eat them. Yogurt. You eat them constantly. <laughs> 
every time I see Kyle, he's eating grapes. What? That's not true at you all. You bring grapes to my home. I bring snap peas to your home. You have brought grapes here. I have brought grapes. More yes. than once. Yes. You. But I've eaten snap peas in your home far more often. <laughs> well, I don't notice them. The grapes you pull out look like friggin' marbles. That's what grapes look like. How odd. No accounting for taste, is there? Anyway, there's enough. Uh, that's enough about grapes for the time being. On to the next treat. <laughs> oh, you get the shorter version. I got a full rundown of the taste of grapes. Oh, do, do regale me. Uh, luckily, it's, uh, yeah, no, it, uh, it's well tramped over here. Uh, oh, good to see you, Nagami. That's right. Orange by name, orange by nature. What came first, the fruit or the color? Who cares? Let's eat. I was about to say that, and I'm glad I didn't, because... Mm, yes, that's... Mm, equal parts sweet and sour, as of the grapes, yet nothing alike. Mm, I may have a... I may have to consult Orion J about expanding my vocabulary. I simply cannot find the words to describe it. Cooking way is going to become a sommelier, or Somali way. No. Yeah, there you go. Get it? Perhaps what I'm looking for is bitter. This is all very complicated, you know? So many flavors, so many choices, and each individual with their own ex personal preferences. Now I see why you all turned your noses up at the idea of eating nothing but carrots. Marvelous, though, they still are in my estimation. Let no one say I said otherwise. Ah, but speaking of carrots, I've yet to sample any of the vegetables. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll do it. <laughs> I am having massive flashbacks of being a big brother right now. This is insane. I was not adequately warned for what was going this, to transpire this yes, evening. Yes, this music continues to go. It's also very warm in here, so I actually feel like I'm having a fever dream. All right. <sighs> what are we eating now? That color, that texture. Are they some sort of enormous round carrots? No, in any case, proper nomenclature is less of a concern than the taste. Blech! It's so hard and flavorless. I may as well be chewing on a piece of wood. That all but confirms it. These are nothing more than the misbegotten failures masquerading as goodly carrots. Damn. You stop! Me? Stop! Can't you see these are pumpkins? I know with any sense we're trying to eat them raw. You're supposed to cook them first. Kyle. Moment. Sidebar. How mad do you think everyone would get if our MSQ video for this segment was just a really dramatic reading of this section and nothing else? I, as long as the thumbnail was like <laughs> dead serious, just I'm all in, for it. Just cold open. And we're just dramatic retelling just do of this your entire full, section. Make one of your full music videos yep. to this music. <laughs> and then play it the entire time under a 45-minute video. <laughs> as we break down the nuances. And in the middle part, we try an orange and give our opinions of it live in the video. <laughs> before trying raw pumpkin live in the video. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. That's how, that's that's it. That's how I will get my revenge on this section. Yep. And we delay MSQ for it. It counts as a week. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not find it an awful bother? Far from it. Cooking is a joy unto itself. And what's more, it broadens the range of ingredients that we may safely eat. But above all else, Cooking allows us to draw out the full potential of our produce. Pumpkin stew has been one of my favorite dishes for as long as I can remember. Then perhaps even these hard blocks of plant matter can become as delicious as the orange I sampled. I wonder though, if there is anything even more delicious. How about that yellow fruit over yonder? <laughs> Great, we're gonna teach this damn bunny about bananas. Teach you, well, uh... Limes? Or oh, lemons. probably lemons. lemons. Yeah, out of a tree. That makes way more sense. Yeah. What a wonderful fragrance. With luck, it'll have a flavor to match. Oh, boy. Oh, no. As I have no idea how these are eaten, I'll just bite into it. Yep, yep you go for that. Time cooking way. We canonically, as the Warrior of Light, are over cooking way shit, and that's why we're allowing this to happen. Trolling them. <laughs> My tongue. Is it? Is this poison? Uh, 
a lemon? You mean it's supposed to taste like this? How can something so similar to an orange be so revolting? Where's the lemonade obsessed NPC gonna yell at this one? Ugh. It may be some time before my palate recovers from this ordeal. As such, I had best call to an end this round of sampling. Let's say our farewells and return to the others. Uh, that's what I'm going to say from now on. When I have something I don't like, I'm going to say it's going to be some time before my palate recovers from this ordeal. That's, that's, Give them some more heads. Next time I have grapes, that's what I'm going to say. Finished, Abby. I trust you found something to your luck. I'm rather enamored with the grapes and oranges. Let's sow the pumpkin. Though I learned the hard way, they're not to be eaten raw. Then there was the lemon. The deceiver. It, I still feel so violated. <laughs> First time, was it? I'd hate for you to leave with a bad taste in your mouth. In more ways than one. So I'll give you this lemon buff muffin I baked. If this doesn't change your opinion, nothing will. More lemon? Have I not suffered enough? Nevertheless, I would be rem- it would be remiss of me to spurn this opportunity to... Oof. Oh, oh. sick came up there. Learn more of your inscrutable ways. Very well, Lemon Muffin. Do your worst. Please go into a cutscene. Fully animated. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, really? This is delicious! <laughs> Although I still detect a hint of lemon, it complements the sweetness of the dough to a create a perfect harmony. I never would have suggested its vile bitterness could be utilized so elegantly. My good chap, this is simply breathtaking. See? We rarely use lemons in its natural state, but it has a starring role in all sorts of recipes. And the same is true for many other ingredients. It comes down to making the most of the resources at our disposal. And sometimes, that could even be the difference between life and death. I know we won't be able to take every species with us. No doubt the forum agonized over what was worth preserving, and what will be consigned to history. Hard choices, but make them we must if we're to survive. Such strength of will. Now I know what Heidelin sees in your kind. Mankind, the Laparits, we were both born from the accumulated knowledge of the ancients. They learned all there is to learn about the nature of sentient life and the fates of the stars themselves. That's not untrue. Once a civilization has fulfilled the basic requirements for survival, it will inevitably seek to eliminate all forms of negativity and achieve perfection. And therein lies its folly and its downfall. From perfection, or for perfection, is an unattainable ideal. Tis the paradox of the immaculate carrot. Wow. Yet civilizations since time immemorial have deemed the pursuit of perfection as progress. They pay no heed to the cost incurred in their futile quest, and all too often become the architects of their own demise the dreams forever unfulfilled. What then is the alternative? The answer lies in knowing that our existence can never be perfect. To be content with what we have and to make the most of it. Let's take a left turn. When life gives you lemons, make lemon muffins. I'm gonna feed Zodiac <laughs> with the lemons. <laughs> Or pardon my Iosian, but what in the seven hells are you on about? <laughs> and who are you anyway? <laughs> Cooking way at your service. I'm here to help prepare for the trip to the moon. And once you get there, you'll be able to try my carrots. I've been growing all different kinds. But don't worry, there'll be room for your crops too. We'll work together to preserve as many of Aetherus' species as possible. If you're up to the challenge. 
Yes, of course. Oh. What? Well, everything turned blue. I look forward to it. Well, this has all been highly productive. Probably. Let's go and see if Orianje and the others have run out of machinery to inspect, shall we? We're just out here in the most badass, like, battle garb, and I am so overdressed. I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of fit in. Yeah. I feel like, however today ended up, you were pretty well dressed, except for when we went to Garlemald. You were definitely yeah, freezing no, your I was, ass off. Yeah, I was a little, uh, yeah. a little under. Well, well, that is a 31-minute recording. <laughs> Are you... What? <laughs> of funny adventures. We're gonna yada yada this whole thing. All right. <laughs> we get into the video. Uh, you know? Wrong way. Very important documentation. <laughs> <laughs>